Apani have invented a solution that they say can extinguish wildfires without contaminating the nearby soil or groundwater with harmful chemicals. They're firefighting entrepreneurs and they worry about the toxic flame suppressing solutions that are currently being used. These are products that they've been exposed to while on the job. So they came up with a novel solution. And as Julie Ireton reports, all they need now is approval to use it in places like Australia. This 2017 fire outside Smith Falls was intense and frightening. But the lingering effect of this blaze was the contamination of the well water in the surrounding neighborhood. Chemicals found in toxic firefighting foam was found coming out of the taps of nearby homes. Hot works, we finally got the final packaging. This team in Napanee wanted a non-toxic alternative to the kinds of foams commonly sprayed on residential and wildfires. Quincy Emans has been a volunteer firefighter for more than 20 years. We started learning more about what was in the foam. We found out that they were, they were uh, a lot were toxic. We felt um, that we could do better, and that's what we started firing. These firefighters have created a patented gel made of canola oil, cornstarch, and other food-grade ingredients. We wanted to make a product that was safe, safe enough to eat. And we believe that not only do we does the product address the performance uh, limitations of existing firefighting uh, products, but also it addresses the environmental concerns uh, of those products as well. The creators say their tests show that mixed with water, the gel can put out fires faster and with less water. They've also created a spray to prevent fires during small construction or plumbing projects around the home. Municipal fire departments in the Napanee, Kingston and Peterborough areas are now using the eco gel at calls. Uh, we had a tractor trailer fire with uh, new cars on it. Um, they were able to uh, stop that from spreading down the, the trailer into the newer cars. And um, we had a garage fire that uh, we knocked down relatively quick using the equal gel. Fire Rain wishes its invention could help crews down under as bushfires burn in Australia. It's terrible. As a, a wildland firefighter, I've seen some big fires, but nothing to that scale or magnitude. Uh, we've had people reach out to us uh, over the last few weeks about, you know, how can we help, what can we do to help. They're now talking to potential partners in Australia about licensing their products there. But before it's used on wildfires in Canada or abroad, the gel needs certification from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. It does seem a little strange that we have to go to the United States to certify our product to have it dropped on Canadian soil. But looking at the efforts that are happening internationally, you do need to have products that are plug and play with international jurisdictions. Studies conducted by the University of Guelph and St. Lawrence College back up the company's claims when it comes to its safety and effectiveness. The company also hopes Ontario's Ministry of Natural Resources will use their new invention during the next wildfire season. Okay, thanks for that, Julie. That's Julie Ireton reporting for us tonight.